what's up guys how's it going um if you can't tell from around me there's a little bit of a different scenery going on today um so i decided to rent out a shop it's a good space um corvette's back there let me show you guys the shop there it is i am renting out one half so this half it is a lot more space to work with um not cramped have enough space for almost like eight CRXs if I was so inclined. I am not, but if I was, I have the room for them. Anyways, that's a big and exciting change uh, from the last series of videos. So hopefully, it will be a little bit easier working in this garage uh, or shop. Um, I am going back onto a, a different work schedule. So these videos aren't going to be coming out as uh, consistently. Just uh, everything's kind of getting back into the groove from the Rona. So I'm not going to be able to put out as many videos because I'm not going to have as much time to work. But what we're working on today is getting this engine bay prepped and ready for paint. So that way we can start feeding through the harnesses and everything. Get everything set up to where it needs to be. Um, so I decided that. I'm just going to rattle can spray paint the engine bay. Um, I was toying with the the idea of doing a full uh, respray with like a spray gun, but it just doesn't seem very budget, does it? So I ordered some paint match spray cans, um, which are actually kind of expensive. Uh, if you were on a budget, I'd just go with like a regular black Rust-Oleum or something. Um, and I ordered some clear coat and it's a, it's a spray can clear coat, but it's very expensive uh, for a spray can. It's like $26 or something a can, which is pretty pricey for a spray can. But uh, it's called Spray Max, and if you've ever used it before, you know it has a uh, hardener additive that you add to the can before you use it. So it's almost like a actual uh, a spray can or spray gun of a clear coat, like a legitimate clear coat on a full paint job because it has that hardener in it. Um, so I have high hopes. I've seen really good reviews about the stuff. It's really glossy. Um, and with the hardener, hopefully it won't get scratched as easy. It'll be easy to clean. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and dive into this engine bay. A uh, semi the way done product. Um, so I went ahead and used that flapper disc to take down a bulk of the product. Um, I'll never use this on like, I never use a flapper disc on like actual body work. But um, I just kind of want to fill the holes. I don't really care if it's going to be like super wavy. I just kind of want a little bit of a flush look, which um, definitely looks a lot better than uh, you know, holes sitting there that. Or no longer needed. Um, so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do to this one. Uh, this one's not gonna need very much filler. It came out pretty even. This one's gonna need some filler action. Um, I'm deciding if I want to weld all these up. I might as well. Since the engine's out of the car, I might as well do it. I suppose.
Well, we're getting somewhere. <laughs> very, very slowly. Um, so as you guys saw, I had my girlfriend help me step up this side. Uh, that way we're getting ready for primer over here. Um, you know, a couple other things need to grind down. I have to figure out what to do with this. I'm probably just going to try to grind it down. This is where the evap or charcoal canister sits. There's a little bracket here. And uh, they just ripped it off. I don't think they even drilled out all the spot builds. I think they just kind of took a sledge and took her off. Still need to cut these off, grind them down, drill out these spot welds, grind down all these little nubs um, of the old bolts or studs that were sticking out that I no longer need there. We're looking pretty good over here. I'm trying to kind of fade this in a little bit so it's kind of like a smooth transition. I don't know how well it's working. It's not really working that great yet. But I'll keep at it. I have the glazing putty over here. Just kind of drying. Take out some of the scraggles in there. Same up here. You just gotta keep that end goal in your head. Because it'll be worth it one day. I think. We'll see. We still have the chance of the paint job just looking bad. But anyways, I'm going to continue sanding. If you guys don't know much of the process of body work, it's pretty simple. You know, take it down to metal. If you need, you know, it's a piece that needs rigidity, use a fiberglass body filler, which is, it's kind of like a blue, it's in a blue jug. Bondo has it all. Um, it's a, you use your hardener, uh, spread it out, sand it down, and of course it has fiberglass chop mat in it, so you're not going to be able to get it nice and smooth, which is why you use a body, a gold body filler. This is the gold body filler. So it fills in a lot of the finer stuff. It still has heat reaction when you mix the hardener into it, so it still has little bubbles where the, the hot air escapes, which is why you use glazing putty on top of that, because it is already mixed uh, in the can, so there's no reaction going on. Because if you have a reaction, then you have heat, and if you have heat, you need some place to escape. But I don't know if I'm really gonna go over this with glazing putty. Like I said, it's not gonna be a show car. I just want it to be kind of a clean uh, daily. Sure. Uh, honestly, like if you, if you're not anal about stuff, you, you want to have to do like half of this for a daily. I could have had the engine in, probably driving the car by now, but I wanted to do fancy shit. So yeah, it happens. All right, big boy time. You got the settings on my welder, right? The weld through primer is set. Um, I am ready to weld this motor mount. I got, as you can see, I practiced a lot of times. I got the settings the best as I could. This should give me good penetration through the mount and the frame. I'm not sure I'm going to record this. Both batteries on the GoPro are dead, and there's not really a good place to set it. Um, I don't have a second helmet for my GoPro to hold the camera either. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna lay, wow, lay the first weld right here. And then I will uh, pick the camera back up and show you guys. Uh, well, <laughs> that looks like utter and complete poopy. I went over that first one again. And, uh, that one's a little sloppy. These bottom ones were kind of sloppy. This one uh, came out pretty decent, except for right in there. I think I twitched or something because I, I obviously went in a little too far. But I mean, I, all of those are solid welds. This thing's not going anywhere. You could probably lift the car from that. But you can see it. So I am uh, pretty happy with that actually.